In this video, I'll show you how to find reliable drop shipping suppliers for your WooCommerce store. Let's get straight into it. Okay, so whilst you're looking at a drop shipping supplier, you want to consider things such as where they're shipping from, what countries they ship to, the typical shipping time, right? And also, how's the order process? Do you have to manually log into their website and then place the order on behalf of the customers? Because if that's the case, then over time that can quickly add up to a lot of data entry nightmare, right? So we just want to make sure everything is simple and effective to streamline our operation, right? Okay, so the first one on our list is this Spocket, if I'm saying it correctly. So the unique thing about this drop shipping supplier is that they source original products from the US and EU, as well as some global products as well. So if we click on dropship here, we can see the type of category in which they cater for, right? So if any of these categories match your requirement, then this is one to consider, right? So we can click on toys, get a glimpse of the type of toys that they create, right? So for example, you can see this one's made in the US. Well, not necessarily made in the US, but it's from the US. The shipping for this is two to three days, which is extremely fast, right? And that's something that you want. This one isn't too bad as well, considering it's being shipped from China five to seven days. That's reasonable, right? And if we check out the pricing page, we can see the price in here. Bear in mind as well that this is a current price based on the time of recording and it can change at any point. So again, with this particular service, so it'll integrate directly into your WooCommerce store. If you're selling on any other platforms as well, such as um, eBay, Amazon, you can import it directly there as well. When you mention drop shipping, usually the first thing that comes to mind is AliExpress. It's a super cheap and easy way to get started into drop shipping, right? So with AliExpress, again, we can do the manual approach where we can view a price Product, for example, this one. All right, and here we can see that we can purchase this product for essentially $11, right? So then we can just take the image, um, change the copy, and then directly list it in our site, and then just add a markup to it, right? And then when a customer places an order, then we can manually go ahead and place the order here, and then fill in the customer information. So if you want to go with the AliExpress approach, so I'll leave a link on screen to a different video where I show you how to automatically import these products from AliExpress express onto your WooCommerce store for free right so you don't have to manually copy over the title and all these extra stuff right so aliexpress they typically ship globally and for the most part the shipping is usually quite quick for example here you can see it's a five-day delivery so they've gotten super fast with shipping over the years okay and if we're going to mention aliexpress then we can also mention alibaba.com right which owns aliexpress so again the difference with this is you'll need to take a more proactive approach in terms of contacting the supplier and then basically negotiating the drop shipping terms with them right so a lot of them for example here it's saying a minimum order is 20 pieces but in many cases you can actually contact them just explain what it is you're doing the amount of orders you expect to receive and so on and then just negotiate that drop shipping terms with them and sometimes you can get a favorable deal. So the benefit of going to Alibaba over AliExpress is that a lot of the time, since it's that extra step in actually negotiating price terms with the suppliers, not everyone's willing to do that, right? So you can sometimes find products which are listed on Alibaba.com, but it's not on AliExpress, which is critical for if you want to run aid campaigns, any other thing like that, right? So nowadays, a lot of customers are quite savvy. So if you're selling a product in your site that lacks original Originality. Typically, the customer will just go directly to AliExpress and search for that product and then just order it directly there, right? Without the markup that you will place on that product. So going the Alibaba route kind of helps with that because it's harder to obtain that product. And a lot of times, since you're in contact with the suppliers, sometimes they can do minor changes for you, right? When you get uh, your volume up. Now let's have a look at Importify. Again, these guys also import with WooCommerce. What I like with Importify is if we click on their suppliers list they've got over 30 different marketplaces in which they integrate with right so you can import products directly from aliexpress amazon um, alibaba s etsy dhgate and many more right so just streamline the data entry on your part since you've got access to all these marketplaces if we have a look at the pricing 
Based on the tier that you go with, it will limit the type of supplier list you get access to. In terms of shipping, as you'd imagine, right, it will purely depend on the particular product that you're going for. So one product might not ship to the US and another might, right? So it depends. Another one to consider is this Duba, and they've got an array of different um, products in which you can drop ship. What I personally like is their high ticket selection. So for example, if you look at this, you wouldn't think, let me check AliExpress to see if I can get this particular furniture, right? So this is super useful and this looks like a high quality product as well. You can go ahead and check out Duba and import these products directly into your WooCommerce store, right? So if you want to go for that more premium type products, then I'll check out this supplier list here, right? We can see that they offer a variety of different products as well. Another consideration is CJ Dropshipping, right? So they integrate with QK Source, 1688, AliExpress, eBay, and Taobao. Again, with Taobao, you might be able to find products that you won't typically see on AliExpress as well. So Taobao could be likened to Amazon of China, right? So this is what the local citizens of China use over there, right? So you can get better price and you can also sometimes find more exclusive items as well, right? And it integrates directly into your WooCommerce store or Shopify if you're using um, that platform or any of these other platforms listed here, right? We can see that the ship to over 120 different countries and with access to that big of a catalog, you can pretty much sell anything using CJ job shipping. And the final recommendation on our list is Printful. It's a print and demand service where you can print custom t-shirts, mugs, and I think they even do photos as well. And you basically just create the design and then just drop ship it directly to your customers. So the good thing about Printful is that you can make your product more unique, right? The customer won't. So for example, if you saw this, you wouldn't necessarily think they made it on Printful, right? You'll just think it's a designer that created a cool design and you're more likely to purchase it. So Printful is highly recommended and in some cases under Rated, right again it depends what type of products you want to sell online i should mention as well that they integrate directly into your woocommerce store and i'll leave a link on screen to a different video where i show you how to integrate printful on your woocommerce store and the pricing varies as well from product to product but essentially it's free to get started and you can just list everything as well for free and you only pay when a customer makes a purchase printful usually takes the payment directly right so they'll take their cut and then they'll just give you your portion of the sale and that brings us to the end of this video we've had a look at a few reputable dropshipping suppliers that you can utilize on your woocommerce store if you think there's a key supplier that i've missed off this list then leave it in the comment box below and also let me know which supplier you went with and why.